Scorpio, hi. So this is going to be a reading for November 22nd through the 28th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. Let's see, Scorpio. Six of Cups, the overall energy. We could be talking about a uh, soul connection you have with someone here. I kind of get the sense that this is something new, but there's a lot going on if that's the case. Anyways, um, it doesn't have to be. I just get that sense for some reason. In the recent past, the Seven of Wands, the Moon, the Hermit. Kind of rejecting something here. Um but it was from a place deep down within you this rejection i feel like you didn't even know that you had some sort of stay back kind of energy towards something and with the hermit there that tells me that maybe at some point you figured it out like oh yeah there is something within me that kind of keeps this whatever away um i don't know if you went further than that to identify what it is but there's definitely a notion of yeah i know um, in the current situation, you get the Seven of Pentacles, the Five of Wands, the Eight of Swords. You want to work on some sort of conflict here, um, which could be a disagreement. Who knows what it is? But you want to work on it. Problem is, you don't know how, because you're coming at it from that Eight of Swords energy. So that's a lot of overthinking. And when we're in that place, we tend to not know shit about anything. Um, in the immediate future, you get the Strength card, the Two of Wands, the Two of Swords. Oof, even more confusion and a sense of feeling stuck, feeling like you're not moving. Nothing's moving, nothing's happening. Um, hmm. Let's clarify. Let's clarify this, baby. Let's do the Six of Cups. from the strength card the eight of swords lots of confusion around this lots of confusion and not knowing not knowing not knowing and what's ironic about it all is that you do know but you have the tendency to go up there in your head and stay in this place of uh, i'm in the dark here kind of thing let's do the moon in the recent past Seven of Wands, Six of Wands, the star. Oof, there's a self-saboteur here. Sabotaging your own happiness. Uh, of course, not willingly, not that you, you know, you see happiness and you're like, go away happiness, shoo, I don't need you, I'm fine. Not in that sense. Um, definitely tied up to some belief you created that could sound something like, I don't deserve happiness. And if you keep telling that to yourself enough times, you're going to believe it. And that's how you sabotage your own happiness. Uh, and you don't even have to say it out loud. Somewhere in the back of your mind, if you have this strong sense of, hmm, yeah, happiness is not for me. It's for everybody else, but not for me. Okay. And you can change this belief by starting to say that you do deserve happiness until you start to believe it. Let's do the Hermit. In the recent past. Seven of Swords, the Chariot, the Hermit. I see you looking at or trying to heal this energy of running away, uh, walking away from things that whether they served you or not, it's not even relevant. Just that energy of, I'm just gonna get out of here, you know? Uh, instead of dealing with whatever I need to deal with here, I'm just gonna, bye. Just gonna get out. Um, so, okay, that's good. I hope you got somewhere there. Let's do the seven of pentacles in the current situation. 
The Knight of Wands, the Two of Cups, the High Priestess. Yeah, love is showing up. And mm, it's coming towards you. It's being led towards you. Passion, love. And you are receiving this with the sense of, hmm, looks good. Let's work on this. What is the Five of Wands there? Let's see the Five of Wands. Page of Swords, Four of Swords, the World card. It could be too soon, either for you. I think it's for you. I don't think it's for the energy that's coming towards you because the energy that's coming towards you is pretty clean here in terms of what they have to offer. And I don't see any baggage here for them. For you, not that you have baggage, but you're still working on something that looks like closing out of something. Maybe there was a separation, a divorce, or something, and you're still dealing with it. Um, there's the ending of a cycle here that I still see you healing from. And because of that, you're not showing up much in this situation. Yes, you're welcoming it. Yes, you have your arms open, but you're not available yet fully for this. And that's gonna create conflict here because this energy is coming prepared and ready. And even though you may think you are and you may want to be, if you're still dealing with closing out something and healing something, you're not. And it's okay not to be, you know? And it's also okay to recognize, how, hold on, part of me is still dealing with this situation, so I won't have this part available for this, you know? Um, let's do the Eight of Swords. <clears throat> The lovers, the nine of pentacles, the hangman. All right, trying to find your own independence, your own identity almost. Um, I feel like you're having a hard time to find that. It almost feels like you are you through the connection that you shared with someone that now is gone. It's out of the picture, so it's like it leaves you with who the hell am I then? I'm only me through this connection, so who, who am I? Um, there's stagnation around this energy of finding your independence here and there's a lot of overthinking you'll find it mm. you'll find it because it's already there you just need to get out of the way basically let's do the strength card in the immediate future. The Emperor, the Five of Wands, the Three of Wands. You're having a hard time closing something out. Uh, and you're almost like irritated with yourself because of it. Um, just give, your time, give yourself time. Give yourself patience. what you're doing if this is you kind of putting yourself down like come on i need to get out of this come on already you're hurting yourself here nobody else you know you, you know to each their own it can take you years months whatever you want it to take you give yourself whatever time you need here that's fine and if this energy is coming in and if you feel like, oh, I need to get ready, I need to get rid of this so that I can give here. No, you don't. You need to take care of this because this is your priority. And then if this energy is still around, that means it's meant to be. If not, trust me, there's gonna be that one that's meant to be. Um, let's do the two of wands. Five of swords, two of swords, the queen of pentacles. You keep uh, postponing this uh, self-love, self-care. Uh, you are doing it for the most part, but by waiting on something else to come from outside of you to give you that, it's just deceptive. It's coming in as deceptive. It's, it's like you're sitting there waiting for your savior, waiting for someone to make you feel good when you have it within you. And that's the part where, again, you're starting to overthink. Like, what do you mean? Um, 
Wow, is it not normal for me to want to be with someone? That uh, well, I'm not talking about that here. You know, I'm talking about putting that responsibility on someone else's shoulder. If they're here, I'm going to be happy. Who says? You can be happy without anybody there to make that happen for you. And then you can share that happiness with somebody if you want to. Not because you need to, you know? So let's do the Two of Swords. It almost feels like one of those things of, I'm only gonna take care of myself if somebody loves me. Otherwise, what's the point? You're the freaking point. Two of Swords in the immediate future. Knight of Pentacles, Five of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Yeah. It's a little bit stressing out here for you. I feel like it's, it's, and again, it's creating more overthinking. So because things are moving quite slow in terms of you getting over something, closing something out, and then keeping this other energy by your side, like, how do I do it? How do I do it? Almost feeling pressured. Like I need to get past this faster because I'm going to lose this. I can't hold on to this for much longer because for now it's looking like it's more like a friendship or something and it's like ah they're gonna go away they're gonna disappear don't be pressured by what other energies are doing deal with your own trust me if something is meant to be it'll be for your highest good but hanging on to clinging to these exterior energies and their actions it's not going to serve you it's only going to place you into these swords of the minds kinds of energies Let's see what the universe has to close it off. Ten of Cups, the Temperance card, the Fool. You're heading in a good direction. In a good directions, hopefully, more many. Um, as long as you stop clinging to outside energies to guide you through this, you're good to go. The path is clear towards happiness here. And you're going to get there. You're going to get, you, you're in the middle of a change, a transformation, major one. And at the end of it, there's happiness. And you're making it. You're creating it. You're going for it. You're the one that's taking chances here and is making choices for this to happen. Not decisions of everybody around you. You. And when you get to that understanding, that's when you'll see even more clear the, the path this path. So that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time. Bye.